opening night. And the opening night of our, it's our 30th anniversary season with the New York Pops, so we're starting with um, a powerhouse, something really special. And it's a, a night of all the great music of Rodgers and Hammerstein. They're five big musicals, uh, which is, in, I'll do them in chronological order, which is Oklahoma, Carousel, South Pacific, The King and I, and of course ending with The Sound of Music. Um, such terrific music, as we all know, but very important with Rodgers and Hammerstein, with what they meant to musical theater and modern American music. Uh, but we're really thrilled to be joined by some of the best voices on all of Broadway. We have the beautiful Kelly O'Hara, Paolo Schott will be with us, and our tenor, one of my favorites, Mr. Aaron Lazar, is with us. We're also joined by Essential Voices USA, which is a terrific large chorus directed by Judith Klerman. Um, I've invited the New York Theater Ballet to join us once again, and they'll be performing some original choreography by Agnes DeMille uh, that she did for the Dream Ballet in Oklahoma. So it's going to be a great night. Great night. What is the challenge of doing Roger and Hammerstein now? Mm -hmm. How about you guys? You got anything? It's such simple music, but sometimes very difficult to do and to perform. Well, I think, I think some people, um, it depends on kind of where you come from. And, um, I think if people have heard it so much that it seems sometimes um, old hat, you know, you just feel like, well, I've heard that, I've heard that, I've heard that. But the thing for me, I could never hear it enough, and I hear it in different ways. I mean, when you add all of these elements together, I may have grown up listening to it, uh, the film version or maybe on a soundtrack, but here seeing it live with an orchestra with these beautiful arrangements, an 80-piece uh, chorus behind them, and then we'll we'll do our best to, to sing the, the solo lines. Um, I think I think it's uh, you can never hear it uh, enough. There's so many different ways. And I always say about them, if you think about their music being the popular music of the time, and how many times they've been recorded these songs by Frank Sinatra and Elvis Gerald and any singer you can name has probably recorded some version of a Rodgers and Hammerstein song. And what that means to me is that they're um, so able to be reinterpreted, which means they're great songs, period. And so um, they never lose their, their glory to me. So the, the challenge might be that some people might feel that way, but I have no challenge in it at all. <laughs> it's good. Do you have a favorite Rodgers and Hammerstein song that you oh, love? That would be impossible. <laughs> <laughs> um, this Nearly Was Mine is a, is a personal favorite, um, just because it's, uh, it's just a powerful, longing um, kind of song. Uh, but I, there are just so, so, so many. The Carousel Overture, for mm -hmm. me, is probably one of the most beautiful pieces of music, um, which is separate from the show. It's not made up of the show's songs. It's actually a separate piece. Uh, it's one of the most wonderful uh, things I've ever, I've ever heard. And every time I hear it, it takes me to some strange, happy, happy place. <laughs> now, the three of you have worked be together before. Tell me what it's like to work with the New York Pops. I mean, it's the New York Pops, it's Carnegie Hall, it's Kelly, Paolo, who I haven't, haven't met, so he'll be, he'll be a new friend, but um, it, it really is a dream come true when you think about it, which I try not to do, because I mean, it's surreal. Um, it's as good as it gets, and this music, I, I grew up in this music, it's, it's, it's at the core of my love for musical theater, so... Um, it's thrilling, and I think I think maybe part of the challenge you had asked what what the challenge is in, in doing this program for audiences today. I think part of the challenge for me is um, I feel so I feel a responsibility to this music. It, I, it's a, it's so important to me. So the challenge is to is to connect to it in, in, in new ways. And um, but but yeah, any opportunity to work with these guys. I mean, 
it, there's some of the best artists in what they do. Um, and so that's, that's always just a, a gift. My last question is, could you tell me about what um, the orchestration that you're bringing to this? Most of the orchestrations we're doing are the original Robert Russell Bennett, and he was actually just uh, recognized when South Pacific won all of the, uh, oh, so many Tonys. Um, <laughs> they honored Robert Russell Bennett for his contributions to orchestration uh, because they are so special. <clears throat> And those are most of, most of them that we're doing. <clears throat> Pardon me. Some are by Erwin Costell from the film versions, but really the bulk of it is is the great Robert Russell Bennett and the original orchestrations, the original keys. So it's a pleasure to be doing them. And the date is? The date is October twelfth, uh, coming up October twelfth, Friday night, eight o'clock at Carnegie Hall.